So today I would like to show you a new project that we have been working on. And I think this new product is going to revolutionize the way players interact with each other. This is going to be the game of our generation. It's going to be the best. Everybody started freaking out, not necessarily about the gameplay, but once again about the graphics. Now that it's out and some PC players are, were playing it, they noticed a, a, a bit of a downgrade in terms of graphic quality. This game had a big budget behind it. There's no excuse for this. The E3 gameplay was a demo designed especially to show off what Next Gen could do. And what Next Gen could in fact do was nothing of the sort. You know, we had this vision for what we could do with Watch Dogs on next-gen platforms, but we didn't have the platforms until earlier this year. So we don't want to lie, but we want to show something that we really deeply want to execute. So the demo was a good way of saying, let's put the risky stuff and some of the risky stuff we don't, we don't have yet. When it comes down to it, Ubisoft did not know what the consoles were offering at that time. I, I have no problem believing that they just screwed up play the game, you know, and that's what I'm saying, like, Metacritic user scores are just the absolute worst. They're like a, a minefield of garbage. Because people are really enjoying it, this, this game's going to be probably the best selling, selling game this month. Aiden's internal struggle is what made him such an easy character to become hooked on and invested in and really care about. Easily one of the most impressive features in Watch Dogs is the way you can seamlessly appear in someone else's single player world without them knowing a thing. It's a remarkably unique gameplay experience. Watch Dogs can be proud of that. I think that people nowadays genuinely have more fun talking about, and hating on, or discussing, or, or, or consuming media about games than they do actually playing them. The first two days of Watch Dogs were like living in a nightmare. The fact that it's so easy to talk shit about Watch Dogs is a red flag. It's not bad, but it's simply not good enough. There are way, way too many better games out there. I fell asleep multiple times playing this game, but some people told me that the game isn't really that long, it just felt that way because Aiden is such a boring character. And I thought about it and I said, hmm, it might be some truth to that. And I kept saying to people like, well, is it good is, or is it bad? Because I heard it's bad. Yeah. And there, everyone was like, no, it's actually really good. And I'm like, oh, well, it can't be good because I read everywhere that it's bad. And they downgraded it and they changed it from yeah. this and this and this. Turns out it's good. 